Can't you just use this recent photo? Mm. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Woohoo! Okay, my outstanding friends, you might as well sit down now because you shall be on the floor momentarily. I know you didn't expect me to say this, but please take his advice. This roller coaster we we're about to ride on is awesome. This is a Scorpzilla. Excuse me? A baking powder? This is a Scorpzilla. Patrick, say that again. This is a Scorpzilla. <laughs> and this is a Scorpzilla's eye. And Scorpzilla runs all the way a long ways. This is where his shoulder begins. Are you having problems visualizing this? Do you want a little bit of help? Here, let me help you. There. Do you see it now? Can you see the scorpion? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you see Scorpzilla? You just blew my mind. Let's back out from Scorpzilla. Of course, this is his face, and most dragons have a big bump on their nose, which... Oh, it's a scorpion dragon with a bump on his nose how obvious which scorpy does and he runs all the way all the way all the way all the way until his scorpion tail becomes evident back here so naturally my dumbass goes and measures scorpzilla on google earth scorpzilla is apparently 8,867,718 meters long. That is how big Scorpzilla apparently is. For my American friends out there, that is 5,510 miles. Scorpzilla is twice the width of the United States. Like, that's a big fucking scorpion, right? Like, I... But well, I, sh I, I should keep my conservative head on, and I should be like, okay, Roger Spur of Monfasa University, please go through the rigorous evidence that you have that this isn't just, you know, a mountain range. It is, in fact, a scorpion. Please. That's his scorpion tail. Now, what happened to his scorpion tail when he died? Well, it seems to have a little ejecta. You see that? This is like ejecta juice coming out of the scorpzilla's tail. Well, I don't know what I expected. Now, you see how this is like... And, and then it's exactly perfectly heighted. Of course! Don't you know anything about science? And this drops down a mile or more. We're up here we're at minus 3,500 feet approximately. Here we're at minus 10,700 feet. So it's over a mile deep from here to there. That's how big Scorpzilla's scorp is. First of all, I don't think a scorpion stinger is called its scorp. But, anyways, like most people, I'm not super up on the morphology of the bottom of the Bering Sea, so I had to do a bit of digging. I found this excellent image here, which started me finding the answers. The scorpion's scorp, as he calls it, is actually what's known as Bowers Ridge. It is a shock here, undersea mountain chain. They're very, very common. Especially the Bering Sea, because the Bering Sea is the northern half of a oceanic to oceanic convergence zone where two ocean plates are running into each other. That's why the Aleutian Islands have the shape they do, and why they by and large are volcanic. So, <laughs> Scorpzilla's Scorp, in technical terms, is Bowers Ridge. Now, when I was reading, when I was looking this stuff up, I looked at his what the fuck is he called it ejecta juice, and since this image is such low quality, I thought this said shit show ridge at first. And I, ooh, I thought that was hilarious. That would have been just chef's kiss, right? It's not shit show ridge. It's 
Shershov Ridge, which again is another undersea mountain range. Because this is a te currently tectonically active zone, and it has been for quite a while, these are the remnants of that tectonic activity. Neither of these undersea ridges are currently active, and they encompass the surrounding basins. The Bowers Basin looks like the Commando Basin. These are not leftover scorpions, and if you want to make the argument that this is a scorpion scorp, you gotta do a bit better than pure pareidolia. I mean, just try, right? Please try something that Google fucking Earth. Now, so let's follow his tail all the way back. So we got Scorpzilla's tail going back, going back, all the way up his body, all his whatever, feathers or f f wings or whatever. All the Feathers or wings or whatever? Scorpions don't have feathers and wings. I don't think scorpions have ever had feathers and wings. What the fuck is he talking about? Fucking idiot. Up to Scorpzilla's head, which is up here, and Scorpzilla's eye, which is here, and his bumpy nose, which is there. Now, just to show you all, I spend way too much goddamn time on these videos. The Scorpzilla's eye is actually something called Sutter Buttes. It is a long dormant volcano in the center of California. Take a look at it. Not a fucking eye now, is it? Let's take a look at his digestive system, because anything that lives has to have a digestive system. And the crazy thing is, my name is Spur, <laughs> and his anus is also named Mount Spur. You know what really sucks about this hobby sometimes? When the person you're making fun of says a joke that is so perfect, you can't think of something better. There's no topping what Roger Spur just said. There's zero fucking topping it. Game over, man. Game over. Man, game over, man. It's game over. What the fuck are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? <laughs> that right there <laughs> is literally a rectum. Alright? This right here. If you, let me move this a little bit so that it make a little more, well, it's good enough. So, I couldn't let this stand, right? I had to go and find out where a scorpion's anus is. And, I shit you not, a scorpion's anus is not where Roger Spur says Scorpzilla's anus is. Scorpions poop out of the tips of their tails. They do not poop out of the equivalent on a human where the anus is. So Scorpzilla, I can promise you there, Scorpzilla is not a scorpion based on the sole fact that Roger Spur misplaced the anus. Yes. I am debunking Mud Fossil University based on the location of a scorpion's anus. You're welcome, Internet. You are welcome. Every moment I live is agony. You see this? This is the, the tube coming straight out. It literally is a tube. You see the tube? This here, here, is here, it's, it's rolling over the top of the tube. This is, um, this is just more, um, you know, uh, shadow. But this is the architecture of that tube. It runs right up there, just like a cannon shooting out of here. And when this thing goes off, it spits all its goop down into here. <laughs> right there. And it, to, I think to me, it looks like every time it pooped, it made another one of these squirters. <laughs> you know, this is like... In the side of your intestines, you have these little pinchers that pinch it and squirt it out. And that is coming right out of Mount Spur. 